Welcome to my channel. Avalanches can be broadly classified into two categories. Dense snow avalanches and powder snow avalanches. In this video, we will see the modeling of a dense snow avalanche and its interaction with an avalanche barrier, also called a dam. First, let's go to see the site of interest. We are located in Italy, in the Aosta Valley, in the upper Valtournage. Ok, here there is the ski resort of Brecherbinia, which is protected from the action of avalanches by two dams. One dam is here, and the other one is here. Both avalanches are colossal in size, and in the past have uh, interacted with human activity with devastating effects leading to the need to build the two barriers. In particular, the avalanche coming from this size, um, we will see how it interacts with the avalanche barrier, modeling it with the help of RAMS, that is a software of the Swiss Federal Institute for the St Study of Snow and Avalanches in Davos, Switzerland. We can now see a 3D view of the area of interest. Okay, here we have the ski reserve of Brecherbinia. Um, this is the border between Italy in this side and Switzerland in the other side. And this peak, this mountain is the the Matterhorn. And this, this one is the, the slope affected by the avalanche uh, we are dealing uh, with. Here we got the, the dam that uh, protect uh, uh, the ski resort from the effect of the, the avalanche. In this picture, we have uh, um, a winter winter imaging of the the area interested by the the avalanche. In the upper part, we have the release uh, area, then the trekking area, and here in this dejection farm, we have the runout area of the avalanche. Okay, in this picture, we have a, a detail of the previous one. In the lower part, we have the dejection fund, that is the area of the runout of the avalanche, and there is uh, the dam that protects uh, uh, the ski resort from the effect of the avalanche. In this imaging, we have a 3D reconstruction of the area of interest, made thanks to the orthophotos and the digital terrain model DTM that the autonomous region of Aosta Valley a kindly made av available. Evidently, the orthophotos refer to a snow-free situation having been taken from topographic purpose in the summer period. In any case, they allow to have a three-dimensional view of the phenomenon. The blue colored sector represents the avalanche triggering area and has been reconstructed on the basis of avalanche events observed in the past. The thickness of the release sector was calculated for a snowfall with a return time of 100 years, in accordance with the local rules. The previous data relating to the release area 
are entered in runs the, the software, which with the help of the TTM reconstruct the evolution of the avalanche until it stops. Now let we see the result of the modeling. The avalanche travels the entire slope, interacting with the avalanche barrier where it undergoes a sudden deceleration. A part of it still manages to overcome the avalanche barrier, the dam, but stops in an unbuildable area before the inhabited center. The different colors in the right column represent the snow depth. In this magnification, we see in more detail the effect of the avalanche dam, as well as the phenomenon where a part of the avalanche is able to stop after the dam. Obviously, without the presence of the dam, a substantial part of the town would be affected by the avalanche. Modeling allows you to determine the momentum, velocity and pressure of the avalanche as well as uh, its height at any point in time. In this way, it is also possible to define the areas at risk based on the maximum expected pressure. The imaging of the example shows the values at the, of the momentum almost in correspondence of the end of the phenomenon. More detail on the software used in this modeling can be found on the website of the Federal Institute for Snow and Avalanche Studies in Davos, Switzerland. <laughs>